Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. The first quarter of the year has passed and I wanted to take a bit of time. Back at the end of last year, I did a video called Taking Stock. And in that video, I listed some of the things that I had accomplished throughout the year, as well as some challenges and some goals for the upcoming year. And I thought today, since we are one quarter of the way through the year now, I would take a look and see just how far we've come and how far we still have to go. So let's start with some st statistics. Um, on January 1st, I had 259 subscribers. I thought that was absolutely incredible. Um, I had had a huge bump over doubling the number of subscribers in like a three month period. And I thought that that was wonderful. But today I stand at 619 on the day that I am filming this. That is a growth rate of 139%. That's huge. I cannot believe there are so many of you out there who are watching me. I'm thrilled. I, I welcome. Um, I am grateful for you watching me. This is, it's pretty nifty. Um, one of the things that's driving this growth is are a couple of the YouTube metrics. They look at things like the number of likes videos get. The more likes, the more popular it is. So YouTube tends to put me up on more people's home pages. Um, home pages are when, when you sign into YouTube on any device, you get a list of suggested videos. Putting one of my videos in that list of suggested videos is a very cool thing that the algorithm does. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But the number of likes does that. And I've written, obviously, notes down for myself. Um, the number of people who subscribe, obviously, the more of you there are, the, the more views I get. And the number of times the videos are shared. Every time you share my video with another group on another social media platform, in an email, uh, YouTube takes notice of those things and says, oh, she must be getting pretty popular. People are doing this. To help you find my videos, I have put title cards on all my videos since January. So, uh, and this video is no different. It will have a title card to it that hopefully is making it a little bit easier so that when I do pop up in your feed, you see me. Comments, by the way, I forgot to mention comments. Comments definitely are another piece that the more comments there are in a video, the more popular YouTube considers the video to be. Uh, so moving on, let me move on for a bit and I will come back. Monetization. Uh, I'm eventually going to do an entire video just on monetization um, and what my goals and whatnot are there. Suffice it to say for now that I have enough subscribers that I could monetize, but I need 3,000 watch hours, and I'm sitting at a little over 1,800. So 1,200 more watch hours, and I will be able to monetize this channel. It probably won't mean much for those of you who are subscribers. It should not affect your viewing at all. Uh, but in any case, I'm going to ask for a favor from you guys, and if you would just put my videos on in the background while you're crafting or heck while you're making cookies just let the youtube videos play all the way through to the end and then click on the next one and the next one and the next one i want to get my watch hours up and i will like i said i'm going to do a whole video on monetization and and the purpose for it and all of that later on some other youtube statistics okay 64 percent of you are from the united states 2.4% of you are from Canada and 2% from the UK. Now, those two numbers were exactly the same in uh, back last time when I did the taking stock video at the end of December. So Canada, you're edging out. The UK, UK, you've got some catching up to do. I need a few more viewers from you. 1% of you are from Australia, but 31% are from the rest of the world. And by that, I mean that you may have... I may have one viewer in Switzerland and one viewer in Zimbabwe and one viewer in 
uh, China and one view, you know, there's, you're all over the place. And that I think is really cool that people all over the world are watching me. 20% of you turn on notifications. So you're getting, you know, when the next video is coming out to do that, you just click on that little bell that, um, it may be underneath, although my interface has changed on mine and uh, on my computer, and now it's beside the video. So look around for a little bell. That's the notification bell. 88% of you watch all of these videos without subtitles, which we, and 10% of you have turned them on. If you're doing the math, you know there's 2% missing. Those 2% have translated me into French. Mais oui, je t'adore. Je ne parle pas français. That's it. That's all the French I have. But I'm so thrilled. Welcome to the channel. 51% of you are over the age of 65. Excuse me. You are women over the age of 65. But I now have 2.5% of my viewers over 65 are men. Hi, guys. Welcome. 36% of you are women of, from 55 to 64, although 0.3 male. I think that means there's one guy who is between the ages of 55 and 64, and you are watching. Nice to have you here. Welcome. 9% of you are between 55, or, sorry, 45 and 54. And for the first time, I have one woman who is watching between the ages of 35 to 45. Obviously, it's an older demographic. We're okay. My most watched video is now the Stack and Whack. Uh, it has edged out Windows Envelope, but it's only in the lead by 40 views. So come on, Windows Envelopes. You can catch up. Those of you who are longtime viewers, you may have noticed that the length of my videos has gotten shorter. Um, I used to do 30 to 50 minutes in length, and now I'm down to between... I would say 20 to 30 tops. I've, I've shortened them up. Um, a lot of my view, my videos are only 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. What I want to know from you guys, and please leave a note in the comments. Do you prefer the shorter videos? Do you prefer longer videos? Let me know what you would like to see. Okay, I need to talk about playlists for a minute. Excuse me. Just water. Playlists, if, if you have never looked at somebody else's playlists, they're very easy to find. You just click on my name. Not now. Wait till the end of the video. Click on my name uh, right there for my channel. It'll take you to my channel and you'll see several headings. One of those headings is playlists. And I have four playlists that I kind of put all of my videos into. Um, I've settled on four topics. Maker Monday, Fabulous Friday, Marguerite Miller Challenge and Walk Through Wednesdays. Let me take them all individually because there's some different things going to be happening with some of them. So Maker Mondays is always a new skill. I'm going to teach some new technique. I'm going to teach a new skill of crafting. It's going to be something making, literally making Mon Maker Monday. And so I'm going to be making something every, every Monday. Um, I added in back in February, I added in a color. The last Monday of every month, I do a color combination and I just take, pick two colors and I just play around with them. In February, it was teal and pink. In March, it was blue and yellow. You'll have to see what April's is when you turn in on the tune in on the 29th and take a look and see. Tune in. I'm showing my age. There we go. Tune into the channel. <laughs> On the 29th of April, you'll find out what the April color combination is. But one of the other things I'm starting with the Maker Monday, I just started with this past Monday, is putting written directions for all of what I'm doing up on my brand new blog. I started in a blog and it's really very, very quick. Hang on, I have to pause for a second. Sorry, needed to cough, and I didn't think you really wanted to hear me and watch me cough. So the, the blog that I have started has will have written directions for the Maker Monday videos. So those of you, and this came because there were some people on a 
uh, it, a chat that I follow that were mentioning that they don't like to watch videos. They would much prefer to just simply read the directions and follow the directions. And I thought, well, heck, I could do that. I taught for 40 years. I know how to write directions. So the directions for Mondays are up and they will be up on all Maker Mondays going forward. We're hoping. Um, fab fabulous Fridays are obviously a catch-all. Uh, sometimes it's crafting, sometimes it's an unboxing or a haul, sometimes it's me talking to you face-to-face. -face. Uh, you never really know what you're going to get, except on the last Friday of every month, I am making the, I'm making that the fun, fabulous, let me get it straight, fun fold fabulous Friday. Yeah, you try saying that 10 times fast. I can't even get it out once. Fun Fold Fabulous Friday on the last Friday of every month. So this month, that will be April 26th. So on the 26th, we'll have a Fun Fold. And on the 29th, we'll have a color combo. The Marguerite Miller Challenge, that's on Saturdays. And that, there aren't too many of you that are watching that. And that's that's really okay. Um, I, Initially, I started filming those as accountability. I knew that if I had to put them up every week, I would actually do them. And that's part of my challenge. This is a huge challenge for me. I'm not a collage artist. I really don't know what I'm doing with that. What I am going to ask from, from, for from those of you who do watch, would you please be willing to give me some feedback uh, like I said, I'm, I'm really still very new at this and it's really, I feel like I'm kind of getting better at it with composition and color choices and whatnot, but I don't know. Um, please, if you, if you're watching and you, and I put a picture down and you think, why did you put it there? Why it should have been over here. Let me know. Tell me in the comments, give me some feedback. I'm okay. I'm a big girl. I want to learn. Walk through Wednesdays. Now, this one's going to be a biggie. This playlist is going to be huge very shortly. And you're going to be getting a walk through Wednesday every Wednesday for the next several weeks. Why? Because I have a lot of videos that I never did a, a video for. I did still pictures, but I never did videos of them. And I am in the process now of going through and making a video of every journal that I have for sale. I've taken all of the past ones that uh, of the walkthrough Wednesdays of journals that I have sold, and they now have a great big SOLD sold on it. So that as you look down that playlist, you will see several that have sold on it and several that don't. Those that don't are still available. Those that have the sold on it, I'm leaving them up because, well, for two reasons. One, I want to be able to look through in the back and say, okay, what did I do? Maybe I need an idea. Maybe I just don't remember what I did for something. So I want to be able to look back and see what I did. And two, uh, this is a teaching channel in many ways. Yes, I'm selling my journals, but you, I give you the walkthroughs so that you can get ideas for your own journals. So I left those up so that if you want to, if you're stuck for an idea, just watch a walkthrough at one point and see what comes up. Maybe it'll spark something for you. Um, but that leads me to my next big announcement. Why did I only have still pictures? Because I had them on Etsy and Etsy only allows for still pictures. It does not allow for videos. Big announcement. I'm closing my Etsy shop. It is really losing me money. It costs me 20 cents per listing per month. Um, so the more listings you have, the more it costs per month. I don't have very many things up there right now. I've taken actually quite a number of things down already. Um, it will be closing by the end of the month. And I'm moving everything over to coffee, K-O-F-I. And I've decided that's how it's said, coffee. I, different people pronounce it different ways. I'm going to stick with coffee. Uh, and coffee allows for videos. I can put still pictures up, but I can also put videos up. So uh, that's why I'm doing all of this and getting all of those pieces completed. One of the goals that I put, excuse me, on my, uh, at my taking stock video was that I wanted to upload more digitals. 
And I have done that. I've uploaded a few. I'm going to upload more as we go throughout the course of the year. But those are up and they are for free. You will see that those digitals have, however, a limit. There might be 200 available. There might be 500 available. But there is a limit to them. When I reach that limit, those will no longer be for free. Those will I will put those up at you know a couple of bucks, maybe maybe just a dollar or two. Um, in any case, if you want them and you want them for free, make sure you're going to my coffee shop. The link will be down below, and find all the video, all the freebies there, and gather them up because once I hit those numbers, they won't be free anymore. Uh, what else about the coffee shop? Oh, I, another note about the coffee shop. Um, if you choose to give me a donation, which is not required, but absolutely appreciated if you do, uh, Margaret of Seven Plaza actually mentioned this first. And I realized when someone made a donation to me that she was absolutely right. If you make a donation, please make it for at least a dollar. I realize that sounds greedy. I don't mean it to be. But if you send me a dollar, I will see 47 cents of that because coffee takes a small percentage and PayPal that actually sends me the money takes a very large percentage because it's a microtransaction and they take a lot of money out of the microtransactions. So if you give me a dollar, I'll see 47 cents. If you give me 50 cents, I won't see anything. You give me 75 cents, I might see maybe a nickel. So, uh, yeah, I realize, I just want you to know where your money is going. And if you want to make a donation to an artist, and it doesn't matter if it's me or any other artist on coffee, please know that, please give them at least a dollar because anything less than that, they don't get to see it. Okay, complete change of subject. Um, the future, where are we going from here? Well, I want to do more face-to-face -face videos. I told you I'm going to do one on monetization. I have another one, another idea that I'm going to do as well. Um, if there is something specific that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments. And I will be happy to address it. If there's, if there's a crafting thing that you want to see me do, let me know in the comments. I, I, I Just give me some ideas if there's something you want to see. Uh, as far as live streaming, I talked about that in the taking stock video. I still am not, I've got the technology down. I get that. I, it's not that hard. Um, I need to be able to set up with another computer. And uh, I think my husband has said he'd be happy to sit there and be the, the monitor of the live stream while I either, sorry, either talk to you or um, crafted or did something. I don't know. It's still in the works. In the future, I'm doing more craft fairs with my daughter, Kate. Uh, we have the Celebrate Commemorate one coming up at the end of uh, May, and you will be hearing a lot more about that as we go along. So away from the crafting table, what's going on? Well, this past quarter, uh, Mexico was amazing. I went to Mexico and holy cow, San Miguel de, San Miguel de Allende is beautiful and I would love to come back. Um, I've been on my first crafting retreat, and that was intense. Holy moly, it was an intense weekend of crafting. I wanted to get my money's worth, so I crafted a lot. And also in the past, may I just say, wow, what an eclipse. I live in totality, uh, an area we, we got it completely covered. And unfortunately, we also had cloud cover. I mean, heavy cloud cover. We couldn't see uh, any of it. We got a glimpse at one point when it was about three quarters covered. And then that was it. And it's getting, you know, it's dim. The light is a little bit dimmer. It's kind of like twilight. And I'm thinking, okay, this is kind of nice, but I'm sorry, we're not going to see anything more than this. You know, And I'm talking with my husband and we're, we're standing there and all of a sudden the lights went out. I mean, it went from twilight to black night, completely all the lights out in about two seconds. I, it was amazing. It was such a cool experience. And then, of course, uh, I was we had three minutes, uh, 
three minutes and I forget how many seconds of totality. And all of a sudden it came back out again. <laughs> and I thought, I begin to understand why primitive man may have been a little bit concerned when all of a sudden the lights went out. Anyway, so what's coming up in my future? Uh, I we're, There's a plein air festival in Alora, Ontario, Canada at, in mid-May that my husband goes to every year and I go and I'll be able to catch up with some friends. And I was also a scrapbooking store in Guelph, which is the next town over from Alora. And I will be visiting uh, the craft fair. I'm going to be spending a lot more time at the cabin. And I have another retreat coming up in Scranton at the beginning of June. So in the next quarter, um, I've got quite a few things going on. I'm also getting back to my companion series, which is a an epic fantasy, a four book ep epic fantasy. I have uh, two books completely written, the other book half written. We're getting there. My goal is to finish book three by the end of the year. I do need to give some thank yous. First of all, to my husband, who... So we're walking through the Dollar Tree just a couple days ago, and I, I was looking for doilies, which, by the way, we never did find. But we're looking for doilies, so we're going up and down the aisles, and he stops next to a bag of rose petals, and he pulls it off, and he says, ooh, this would be good for you. You could use these. And I said, yes, they're beautiful, but I'm probably not going to use them. There are thousands of them in there, and I would probably use six. So um, I'm not going to get that right now. I'll, I'll get it later. We, he puts it back up on the shelf, and he, we start walking, and he looks at me. He looks back at me, and he says, what have you done to me? I'm looking at this entire store differently. Everything I'm looking at, I'm like, well, could, could we use that in a journal? Could we use that in a journal? I said to him, how long till you make your first junk journal? He said, no, no, he's going to stick with painting and, and playwriting. He's also a playwright. I'd like also like to say a big thank you to several other of the YouTube creators. I, some, some, some of you are well known, like Seven Plaza. Um, I gave a thank you to, to Carrie the Crafter and, and uh, Gail Gustinelli the last time because I watch their videos uh, often. But there are so many people out there that I watch all the time. And some of you are well known and some of you are not. And I really appreciate all the work that you're doing because it is very helpful. Um, that, that's wonderful. Um, and subscribers, obviously. Obviously, you guys keep me going. You, you give me a reason for continuing to do what I'm doing. It, it's Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, thank you for your comments. Just thanks. So now if you want to check out those playlists, click on my name and you'll be able to, you'll go right to my homepage and then you'll see the, the lists up at the top. It's like, it'll say playlists, click on that. And then you'll have, you'll see the four that I'm talking about. That was money Monday, uh, money Monday. <laughs> I got money on the mind at the moment, apparently. It was uh, Maker Monday, Fabulous Friday, Walk Through Wednesday, and the Marguerite Miller Challenge. All right. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit subscribe and hit the like button to let YouTube know that you have enjoyed it. And if you want notifications, remember, click that little bell. Until later, have a great weekend. And this is Cindy signing off.